Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in this fun scroll saw project video, we're going to make something that a lot of people have asked me to make already, and I'm finally going to do it. It is a Steve Good design, and it is a fretwork clock. I've already got all the patterns printed out to full size. This is not all the pieces. There's more back here on the workbench, but I've got everything printed out to full size and attached to my material with clear packing tape. As per the usual on my channel, I'm going to stack cut and make two of these. So I'll have one to give as a gift and then one to keep for myself. I've made this in the past and posted it on my Instagram page. And I reposted it a while back and everybody was like, please do a video on it. So that's what we're here doing now. Again, everything in this project is quarter inch material. And one thing to keep in mind is it is a tab design. Steve has allowed for very easy construction on this. And you have the tabs here. And then the slots on the side pieces. And then again the tabs on the front pieces. Once again, there's more pieces on the back um, table right here behind me. I just couldn't hold everything and show it to you guys. I'm really excited to make this on video. Um, one thing to keep in mind is grain direction. I've got the grain going up and down on all of my pieces that I can that's going to be showing. So that's going to give it a real formal look and you know to have the grain all going one way. But since everything is prepared, let's head over to the drill press, drill all of our pilot holes for this project and head back to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press we're going to begin by drilling all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. Just taking my time here and getting all the pilot holes drilled and then we will head over to the scroll saw and begin scrolling. I'm going to cut the four tabs here and I'll use a small piece of scrap quarter inch plywood to test the fit of each slot because it's key that they fit snugly for assembly. And then I will continue on with some of the more internal cutting. Obviously I'm not going to show cutting every single piece out seeing as there are so many pieces to this fretwork clock. I am using number five reverse tooth short tooth scroll saw blades for all of the cutting and as I said this is a Steve Good design and if you would like to try this pattern yourself you can download the pattern for free over at Steve Good's scroll saw workshop blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog For reference, my speed on my scroll saw is between a 5 and 6, and the tension is at a 3.5. Doing the final internal cut here, and then I will begin to release all the pieces from the wood. And it is key that you stay as loyal as you can to the cut lines to make assembly easier. Just being very careful and letting the blade do the work when it comes to cutting all those straight lines and the tabs. And cutting out more of the parts here. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. Cutting out the big back piece here that all the pieces are glued to. Just a really, really awesome design by Steve Good. And I had fun cutting it out. Now that all the pieces are cut out, we're going to remove the pieces we need. And remember, I stack cut it and made enough for two clocks. So we're just going to take the pieces for one clock over to sanding. And sand everything with 100 grit sandpaper. 
with my palm sander here and I'll always do more detailed sanding off camera but getting the front and back of each piece is here and then we will head over to the main workbench with all the pieces and begin the initial glue up and this is where the tabs and the slots really um, show their worth because the pattern is kind of self squaring and if your cuts are right on the line it will all slide together nicely and I will use a combination of spring clamps and rubber bands to hold everything in place making sure everything is lined up and just getting all my clamps where I can to hold everything for clamping pressure now I'm going to glue the bottom of the clock on and I'm using Gorilla Wood Glue for all the glue in here and I'll use some rubber bands to hold this piece on while it dries and I let this dry a good hour before I took all the clamps off now over here on the belt and disc sander we have to bevel the roof pieces at a 45 degree angle to give it that A-frame look and that's what I'm doing here with the disc sander you can see how it goes together there now that an hour has passed we're going to remove all the clamps and take the clock over to the bench top vise to hold it upright so we can glue the roof on with Gorilla Wood Glue as well and I will use two dots of hot glue to hold the roof on while the wood glue sets up and I'll let that dry about 45 minutes and I'll come back and glue the final trim piece on and use two spring clamps to hold that down and once that dry all this left is clear coating so I come back and remove the clamps and put the clock on a wire and gave it a few coats of clear gloss spray lacquer and let it hang out in the sun to dry and the project was done all except putting in the clock and that's what we're doing here and this is a two and three quarter inch clock And here we have the completed fretwork clock made on the scroll saw. It came out amazing. I am so happy with this. I hope you guys like watching me make it. Thank you, Steve Good, for another amazing scroll saw pattern. Really, really appreciate your work, man, and all you do for the scroll saw community. Really, really awesome. I'll bring it in for a closer look. Really, really awesome. Has some great and amazing detail. As you can see, all the grain is in one uniform direction. I made sure of that when I was attaching the patterns to the wood with the clear packing tape even on the roof I made sure that the grain was going in one solid direction to make it all look uniform and I know some people are going to question me about using the dots of hot glue on the roof but the angled roof is hard to clamp and I did not want to stand there and hold it and hold it until the wood glue grabbed the only thing the hot glue is doing is holding the roof panels in place until the wood glue starts to catch and grab and dry where it'll lock it on permanently but that's the only thing the hot glue is used for and I've made other clocks just like this one the same pattern and I've always used the hot glue for that purpose and they've all worked out amazing and came out nice and strong all that's left to do is hang this and display it proudly and then I have another one to finish 
the way I want to. I would recommend if you are going to use this pattern and make this clock, I would recommend if you wanted to stain it, to stain it before you put the roof and the bottom panels on. I know I was going to leave this all natural because I love the natural look of woods. I stained all the others I made and I wanted one made out of just natural wood. All this is quarter inch plywood by the way. But um, So I went ahead and glued this on in the initial glue up the bottom part. But again, if you was going to stain it, I'd stain it beforehand, and it would take you longer to make this. Um, looking at the clock, I started this project at 6 this morning, and you can see the time now. But I had fun out here, lost in my world of music, sawdust, and creativity. I had fun making it. I hope you guys like watching me make it, and I hope this encourages you guys to go out and make a scroll saw or a fretwork clock. This is just a basic design that Steve Good offers. There is way, way more complicated designs available online um, that are really, really complicated and way, way up in the expert level, and I might attempt one of those one day. But this is really awesome, and Steve offers this tab design, which you can see in the construction, and that really gives you a leg up and assembling woods made out of thinner parts to make the box shape of the clock. It kind of self squares itself if your cuts are nice and straight. But really, really awesome. I had fun making it again, and I hope you guys like watching me make it. That's about all for this video. Remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. Please continue to follow me over on my Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share my videos. Like all my posts. And that's about all for this one. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.